thing. Today we're going to evaluate a limit. So the limit as x approaches negative infinity of 2 minus x over the square root of 7 plus 6x squared. Uh, the way we're going to evaluate this limit is we're going to divide uh, the whole expression, uh, the numerator and the denominator, by the highest power of x in the denominator. The highest power of x in the denominator is the square root of x squared, which is x. So we'll divide the numerator by x, and we'll divide the denominator by x. Um, I'll simplify the numerator first. I'm going to decompose it and simplify. So we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity of 2 over x minus x over x divided by the square root of 7 plus 6x squared divided by x. Um, that will simplify. I'm trying to figure out if I have enough room over there, but I don't, I don't think I do. Um, x over x becomes 1. That's a 1. Um, so I'll rewrite the expression and take care of the denominator in the same step. So we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity of 2 over x minus 1 divided by the square root of 7 plus 6 x squared. Now I want to divide this x into the expression under the radical. In order to do that, I'm going to rewrite x as the square root of x squared. But notice now I have changed uh, the value of this function. As x approaches negative infinity, this x is a negative value. As x approaches negative infinity, the square root of x squared is positive. So there, this at this point, this expression and this expression are not equal. So I'm going to change them. I'm going, in order to compensate for that, I'm going to multiply the whole thing. In this case, I just decided to multiply the numerator by negative one. It doesn't matter. I could put it down here. Uh, really doesn't matter. Uh, wherever you, just as long as you multiply by negative one. Uh, now I have, I have what I want. I haven't changed the value of the of the function as x approaches negative infinity. I've compensated for it, and I have uh, the denominator. A quotient of two radicals and I can write it under a single radical. So that's what I'm going to do. So we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity of negative 2 over x minus 1 divided by, I'm going to write it all under a single radical and I'm going to decompose at the same time be 7 over x squared plus 6x squared over x squared. Uh, do some cancellations or simplifying. So x squared over x squared. Just leave the 6. I'll rewrite the limit before taking it. It's the limit as x approaches negative infinity. Um, negative 2 over x minus 1 divided by um, the square root of 7 over x squared plus 6. So now we want to evaluate the limit as uh, 2 over x approaches negative infinity that goes to 0. So the numerator goes to negative 1, negative times negative 1. I guess I could have distributed that you know, hey, negative uh, 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1 over, as 7 over x squared goes to infinity, it goes to 0. 6 goes to 6, square root. So 1 over the square root of 6. Uh, I don't feel compelled to rationalize the denominator, so I'm not. 1 over the roots. The limit as x approaches negative infinity 
of 2 minus x over the square root of 7 plus 6x squared is 1 over root 6. And uh, I don't rationalize denominators unless it makes it look prettier. And I don't know, if you think root 6 over 6 looks prettier than 1 over root 6, knock yourself out. Uh, I just don't, I don't, doesn't matter to me. 